Welcome, we're going to show you some easy greenhouse hoop bending using the DIY tubing bender. Here we got the DIY tubing bender set up on the table and I'm going to bend uh, 10 greenhouse hoops in 10 minutes. So that's going to be 20 pieces of tubing here in 10 minutes. Now I have the tubing set up on this rack um, so uh, it's organized and I know which halves I need to bend. Uh, here I'm bending the wide end first, so the narrow end of the tubing is at the top. And this tubing is what they call top rail tubing. It's uh, 10 and 1 and 3 8 inch in diameter, uh, usually 17 gauge. And you can get it at your local home supply store. It's in the chain link, uh, chain link section usually outside, out by the nurseries, out by the garden. Uh, the other title for this video could be How to Make $100 in 10 Minutes uh, with the Do-It-Yourself Tubing Bender. Here I'm bending these hoops for a customer. I charge $10 uh, to bend the tubing, so I thought this would be a great little video to show you guys. Uh, how easy it is to use uh, the tubing bender and kind of maybe answer some questions or kind of just show you. So this tubing bender can be made for about four dollars or less. Uh, it takes uh, one sheet of wood, OSB wood, and uh, you can use uh, two concrete stakes, a couple of bolts, uh, a bracket or two to hold it down, and uh, some screws and nails, obviously, to put the, the thing together. And that's about it. Uh, I show the whole process of making that uh, in an ebook there that's available on the website uh, for nine dollars. So, uh, video after this, I'm going to show you uh, how to make uh, the greenhouse. We're going to start the little greenhouse university and uh, run through the videos there and how to make the practical DIY greenhouse. Uh, here we're going to be using uh, these hoops that are uh, about approximately 10 and a half feet wide and 7 feet tall that we bent with the, the do-it-yourself tubing bender. Uh, to make that style greenhouse you don't have to use the do-it-yourself tubing bender you can use another tubing bender that produces a 10 and a half or a 10 foot wide hoop, 10 to 11 foot wide hoop would work. So basically the bending action is you just wanna, you insert the tube, make sure it's securely seated and then there's uh, kind of three motions there with the bending. And then uh, you pull out the tube when you're done. So uh, you bend the tube approximately 90 degrees. Uh, the DIY tubing bender is a large radius tubing bender. So there's going to be a large radius 90 degree bend. Once again, just insert the tube all the way, make sure it's seated. You'll bend about 30 degrees or so in the first bend, then a second bend, another 20 or so, and the last little bit there. And the basic bending is, uh, once you have the bender set up properly, uh, you want it to be about 30 inches off the ground. Um, once the end of the tubing touches the ground, that's it. You're pretty much there. Now here I'm uh, just kind of taking my time bending these, not going super fast. Uh, you can definitely bend these faster, but I'm just going kind of sl slow and sure, steady. Uh, so everything kind of comes out consistent there. Now we just have about, uh, this is the last tube uh, for one half. So we're on our 10th tube and we're about... Uh, five minutes in there. Uh, 
So that's 10, 10 pieces of tubing there with uh, the narrow bottom, the narrow piece uh, at the bottom of the tube. Now we will bend 10 pieces the other way. Here the narrow piece is at uh, the top of the bend. So it'll be at the bottom of the hoop. The white end will be at the bottom of the hoop. And these are all just bent in the same manner. Here I'm kind of just putting it on the rack uh, just so to show you the you know even profile there. There's 11 tubes there uh, up on the rack and uh, you know 30 seconds or less uh, you'll bend a uh, hoop half and they'll come out pretty pretty very even and consistent as you can see there. The remainder of these will kind of stack on the ground, just keep them separate. Right there, I just cut out a little shot of me pulling that tube out and placing it on the ground. So this is our third uh, piece of tubing um, on the other end, so uh, number 13 in total. And we're about seven minutes in. So what's awesome about uh, this tube bender, if you buy it, it's very easy to bend these greenhouse hoops. Uh, so you can definitely uh, advertise, let other people know, tell your friends, hey, I'll bend your hoops, uh, $10 a hoop, just apply the materials. Uh, you don't have to tell them that, we'll, that it, will, it will only take you one minute to bend a hoop. Um, so... Now the amount of hoops that you'll use for your greenhouse uh, will vary on the length and the spacing. In our next videos, uh, you'll kind of see that more. Uh, but for my 24 foot greenhouse, I use seven hoops and those are spaced at four feet, four foot intervals. So behind this bender uh, and me bending here, you may be able to see a structure and what that is, is that's a corral cover. Uh, those corral cover hoops are uh, made using the do-it-yourself tubing bender here. And they're just a modified hoop. Uh, just shortened a little bit. And then you use uh, corral end clamps to attach the tubing there to the corral uh, panels. Now, um, my goal is just to show everyone kind of just how easy it is to do this. Um, definitely uh, not a strong person there or nothing. Um, and I want uh, just to be known that anybody could do this. Um, once I have video of uh, other people, you know, using the bender, uh, I will definitely show you that. But uh, I think anyone capable um, physically able uh, uh, will be able to, to do this so ladies uh, you don't you don't need to wait for anybody you know <clears throat> definitely any crossfitters or stuff like that like no problem doing this for sure And if you're uh, kind of by yourself, have no one else to help you there, uh, just want to show you that this is an easy method uh, to get it done. You can hopefully recover some of the cost of you making the bender uh, and everything with bending a set of hoops for someone else. Ten minutes in, 
and we are on the last piece of tubing here. I mean, technically we're 10 minutes, 20 seconds or so, but I kind of stopped in the middle, you know, uh, to show you. Here we are, the 20th and the last tube. Last one. And 10 hoop spin in 10 minutes. If you have any questions about the do-it-yourself tubing bender or anything like that, uh, definitely let us know. We're here to show you that you can do it. We're here to help. We appreciate you watching. I hope you join us for the next video uh, where we're going to show you how to make the practical do-it-yourself greenhouse.